Let's check out the course index or content. We will be starting with a brief introduction to what's the process simulation, what is used for, what can we do with the crude oil, assays, petroleums, etc. Then we continue on the hypos or hypothetical manager. We will learn mostly on how to create substances or components that are not present in high seas databases. So for instance, if you have a coal or a crude oil, or maybe you're working with any other substance that it's not present in the Aspen Heises database, we will be able to model it in the fluid package as well. Then we continue with the petroleum assays, what they're used for. This is mostly a tool which is used in petroleum refinery. It's much more technical and precise than the oil manager. So the main scope of the course is working with the oil manager and we will learn that it has three steps. Oil manager will start with the input of the data of the assay. The assay is nothing more than the crude oil uh, let's say, specifications that we get on the lab or our client or let's say if you, we will learn that we need at least two let's say, bulk properties or two data on the liquid volume versus temperature, distillation curve, or so on. Of course, we'll learn that the more data we have, the better model we get. Now, we continue with step number two, which is once we get the input data assay, we'll be cutting, which is essentially working with the theoretical or the pseudo components, and blending the different assays. Many times we have, I don't know, maybe you are modeling when crude oil as light oil, maybe you have also medium oil and heavy oil maybe you're working with kerosene gasoline naphtha and gas oil whatever you have on your assay you can blend them and blending is nothing more than actually modeling into a unique oil and finally we go to the step number three which is installing the oil into our flow sheet so it's very important to note that we are going to work mostly in the physical property environment. Installing the oil, we'll install it in the simulation environment and we will be able to work with the flow sheet. Then we also get a little bit on plotting our results. It's very important to be able to see the results, be able to manipulate the results, uh, graph important data, maybe composition versus temperature, maybe mole fraction, molar weight, temperatures, and so on. We also get lots of tables and important charts, especially the distribution charts and plot summaries. And this should not be part of the course, but I really want to add a industrial application. This will be work via a study case. And it's very important because uh, these three guys right here, are kind of theoretical. I actually prefer, once we understand how to use the old manager, actually use it in the simulation, in the flow sheet. So even though this is not part of the scope of the course, I will add it. So you understand how we use the petroleum assay, how we cut it, how we blend it, and how we install it in the flow sheet. So once it's installed, say we have our install oil, we will be able, I don't know, maybe heat it, maybe use a flash separation, increase the pressure, maybe there's a compressor, we have a preheater, then we have a fractionation column, which will be most likely what we are looking for. Maybe we have the different compositions, which we already know because we work with the petroleum assay and we got the distribution plots. And finally, we make a small conclusion on the course, what we learned, how we can use them in future courses, and that will be most of the course. Finally, we check out some extra surprises on the bonus section.